In this video, I'll be making the handle for a Japanese-style Nakiri knife out of ironwood, maple, ebony, and brass. Here, I'm cutting down a large piece of ebony to make the ferrule. Next, I sanded the ebony and the ironwood burl to ensure they would have a flat surface for glue-up. Using a Dremel, because we only had the world's dullest hacksaw, I cut a small square of brass to fit in between two pieces of maple. Japanese knives are assembled by burning the tang into the handle, but since we're using exotic hardwoods, they are more prone to cracking, so a dowel will be used as a spacer. Here you can see me cutting out a slot for the tang. Here I'm drilling a hole for the dowel in the piece of ironwood that will make up the majority of the handle. Here I'm drilling a small hole in the ebony ferrule that will be expanded using the scroll saw into a slot for the tang. Using small files, I expand the slot cut on the scroll saw to ensure that it perfectly fits the tang, testing every so often. Here I'm doing the same thing with the brass, except I'm going a little larger on this hole because it will not expand when the tang is heated up. Using a five minute epoxy, I start by gluing the dowel into the piece of ironwood. Using the dowel for alignment, I then glue the maple and brass spacers into position, followed by the ebony ferrule. Here I'm adding a small wedge to make sure the slot in the dowel doesn't close up. This was a really terrible idea and I eventually had to drill it out later. Now it's time to sand everything square using the belt sander, making sure to not overheat the epoxy and weaken the bond. Now the handle is square, time to make it octagonal and add a taper. Using a 3D printed jig I designed in Fusion 360, I grind in the bevels creating the octagonal shape. Safety 
first. Back to torque the way. If you hit him on the broad side, you should have more already. A little dull red. You're starting to see that? Yep, on my side. Does it look straight? It does. Nice. Dude, it's gonna be hot. Yeah, no, that's where I want the handle. <sighs> now that the handle is attached, I sand all eight sides from 220 grit to 2000 grit. Now I'm applying Danish oil to the handle, which will really make the grain pop. The final step in the finish will be adding a coat of wax, then buffing it out to give the handle a nice shine. So we'll wrap up with a couple of still images from the handle that Mark made, which I think turned out gorgeous. If you're interested in seeing more content from him and me, please feel free to leave comments below, subscribe to the channel, like, and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.